Hello, welcome back to Pharmacy. Today I am going to discuss about a new SSD NVMe card I purchased for my laptop. I inserted in my Acer F15 laptop and after checking all the internet and the forums they support it will uh, support in my laptop so I bought it and I put it in my laptop and now uh, it's actually it's supported I changed my OS and cloned my OS to the SSD uh, it's called the Transcend PCIe SSD 110S model it has a generation 3 into 4 PC interface but actually I am getting only generation 3 into 2 this may be true for you also if you have uh, some bottleneck for your uh, motherboard the speed will vary so if I check the speed actually I am getting um, the actual speed for the sequential read speed that means 1500 MB per second that's the actual speed uh, described in uh, in the technical specification you can see the actual speed uh, varies between 1700 to 1500 mb per second actually i'm getting that speed uh, for my edition though i have only the 1.8 gb version so i get 1500 mb per second speed uh, so that's true for uh, sequential read speed is 1500 and sequential write speed i get only the half described that is 400 mb per second is described for uh, 120 dgb if it's 1 tb i can get 1500 but actually i'm getting the half of this speed that is i get only 200 mb per second only well, so I am getting only the half of the speed. This is because of the interface I am having. Uh, this is because uh, if you you cannot check uh, whether uh, your laptop or your PC support the latest uh, interface, uh, the generation three into four interface or not, um, by simply opening uh, the cabinet. If you have M2 slot, you can check uh, the speed uh, before. So I uh, see in the Transcend they already um, addressed this issue. Why does my Transcend PC NVMe M2 SSD not achieve its performance specs in benchmark test? It is because speed may vary due to host hardware, software usage, and storage. That varies. Maybe that will um, only small amount. But some motherboard only provide PCIe N2 connection for the M2 slot, creating a bottleneck. That happened to me and uh, according to the support interface I need 3 into 4 PC Express slot but actually I am getting generation 3 into 2 slot so how to check this in order to check that you need to go to hwinfo.com I don't know this you can download a software called hwinfo maybe hardware info for this and you need to just it's a free software you can press free download and you can see uh, there are a lot of options doors a portable installer uh, you can use a portable version i just download the portable version you can just put free download and you need to unzip that uh, in desktop or anywhere just use a uh, software according to your interface if you are using system 32 bit windows you can use or if you are using 64 bit windows you can use the 64 bit so it will act for some permission and will run a test don't worry about anything just put the test so it will show some uh, information like a gpu side if you familiar with the gpu side or cpu side info uh, so it is showing uh, my acer f5573 g system so a lot of information uh, shown here uh, this uh, for general information if you want how your gpu performance uh, the how all the interface per performance uh, how the memory module performance what are the install memory modules that different uh, we don't need this so i'm just going to sh shut down this and um, what we need is to check uh, this the bus so you have to 
pan this PC bus you can see a lot of um, controllers going here so you can see the chip controller see you need to click and open each PC Express root controller to see whether it support uh, the PC Express 3 or slot or not so if you can check this you can see this one support PC a maximum link width 3 uh, and current link width 4 and 4 so this one support uh, the full speed support but actually it is not the m2 slot how we know if i need to expand this plus button and you can see it's actually uh, plugged in with my graphics card so it's already um, fixed that it's uh, a bit, uh, being a laptop it's uh, fixed i cannot change this if you have a pc you can maybe if you have more slot you can change this but actually it's fixed so we need to expand another one and that one has only three two two if i expand that one also it's actually the m2 slot for my uh, laptop so my ssd is installed m2 nvme ssd is installed on this slot so you can see nvme controller silicon motion device it's actually has pc expression version 3 maximum link width actually it has 4 but current link width is 2 uh, something i think the acer doesn't provide uh, the full support for the speed maybe it's uh, soldered to the 2x speed only so i'm getting full speed for the uh, the reading is getting 1500 mb per second but the write speed is half um, of the uh, interface about is advertised but it doesn't uh, means it's a slow in my laptop no it's very fast in booting i get I mean within one second my system is uh, booting up from uh, shutdown uh, also shutting down is very fast uh, running everything is very fast only you get the difference between if you transfer a heavy file or heavy rendering or heavy maybe 10 gb or 5 gb file uh, between the you copy there uh, or maybe you make a duplicate of the file in the same drive you get uh, to know the actual speed difference but it's not uh, not much difference and also uh, you can expand all other c you can see this one also has three into one one it's for the wireless and also for another one it has three into one one it's a card reader and other mat so using this uh, software first and check if you have um, the version if you have the latest version uh, the m2 slot with the pc express 4 uh, 3 into 4 speed series you can use that but depending on your motherboard you may get half the speed for writing you will get the full speed so you can um, either choose um, normal ssd nvme or or the m2 so m2 ssd or you can choose high speed nvme but you need to make sure you get three at least three into four uh, in the maximum link width if it has all m into two into two you will get only the half speed for the read and write so i think this explains uh for the m2 nvme confusion and actually um i'm getting the the good speed for a read and write and my system is pretty stable so i'm not um, regretting purchasing this actually uh, there is no not that much price difference uh, for the uh, the latest version and the older generation so it's good for me